नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन शो दैट वन प्लस टैन स्क्वेर ए डिवाइडेड बाय वन प्लस कार स्क्वेर ए इज इक्वल टू वन माइनस टैन ए बाय वन माइनस कार ए होल स्क्वेर दैट इज इक्वल टू टैन स्क्वेर ए वी हैव टू शो दैट दीज थ्री वैल्यूज आर इक्वल फर्स्ट स्टेप कंसीडर वन प्लस टैन स्क्वेर ए बाय वन प्लस कार स्क्वेर ए From the trigonometric second identity, one plus tan square a is equal to secant square a, and from third identity, one plus cos square a is equal to cosecant square a. We can write secant square a is equal to one by cos square a, and one cosecant square a is equal to one by sine square a. That is equal to one by cos square a into reciprocal. We have to write. So sine square a by one. So that is called sine square a by cos square a. That is equal to tan square a. That is equal to tan square a. So implies one plus tan square a divided by one plus cos square a is equal to tan square a. This is equation number one. Next step, we have to consider this part. 1 minus tan a divided by 1 minus cot a whole square. That is equal to 1 minus tan a. We have to convert this total expression into tans. That means we have to convert here cot a into tan a. 1 minus tan a divided by 1 minus cot a is equal to 1 by tan a whole square. That is equal to 1 minus tan a whole square. Divided by take LCM here, so one into tan y, tan y, and here one into tan y, tan y you have to write in the numerator, tan y minus one again whole square. That is equal to one minus tan square, tan y whole square into we have to write reciprocal, tan y divided by tan y minus one whole square here. Here also whole square. One minus tan y whole square is equal to tan y minus one whole square. We can cancel that one. That is equal to tan y whole square means tan square y. From this we can write one minus tan y divided by one minus cot y whole square is equal to tan square y. This is two. From one and two we can say that this value is equal to this value is equal to this last tan square y. Next question. Prove that secant y minus one by secant y plus one is equal to one minus cos y divided by one plus cos y. First, we have to observe that the RHS is in cos and LHS is in secant. We have to convert this secant y in terms of cos. LHS is equal to secant y minus one divided by secant y plus one. So we know that secant y is equal to one by cos y. Minus one divided by again secant y that means one by cos y plus one. So here again take LCM that is LCM is equal to cos y. So one minus cos y divided by. So here the LCM is same thing cos y. Now one plus one is there. You have to write cos y. That is equal to one minus cos y divided by cos y into. So here we are converting this to numerator. That's why we have to write the reciprocal. That means cos y divided by one plus cos y. Now cos y cos y will go. That is equal to one minus cos y divided by one plus cos y. That is equal to RHS.